Hey English team here. Today I've done a quick video on how to increase your hospital capacity. This is closely related to wounded conversion, where if you increase your wounded conversion, more of the troops who die will go to the hospital, and if you've got enough hospital spaces, that's critical. If you don't have enough hospital spaces, then they cannot go to hospital. Now, it's a very big difference from defending and attacking. When you're defending, if your hospitals are overfilled, then your troops will spill over, and depending on the event, they may go to your sanctum, or they may go to one of the alternative hospitals, the Alliance Hospital, or there's a Kingdom Hospital in the Kingdom Raid event. So there are alternatives, however, best not to have to rely on it, and certainly there are times when that won't happen. So getting your hospital capacity up is definitely a huge win. And how do you do that? Obvious one is to upgrade your hospital. You can see in the uh, more info tab, the different uh, levels of uh, hospital capacity you can get based on the level of your hospital. So that's a really important one. Now, if you go back to your research branch, then you also have in the development a uh, number of different researches. You can get 5,000 extra troop spaces with hospital capacity one. And if we keep scrolling down, you'll see hospital capacity 2, you can get another 20,000 spaces there. The more expensive research is, if you go to War Fury, you have more hospital capacity gains, up to 15,000 here. These do require Philosopher's Stone, so they are expensive. However, if you're doing a lot of fighting, especially on the raid, it's really helpful to have that extra hospital capacity. And then if you go up here, there's a further 15,000 for the next level up. And in the King's Legion, you've also got five different categories here, which will take most players a long time to get through. There's 15,000 available here, and another 15,000 here. Here's level three, so you can get further troops here. Level four, and it looks like the top level five may well be able to give you extra troops, so my maths tell me it'd probably be around 24,000 extra spaces available there. There is also Alliance Tech, so if you're an R4 or above, then you can set uh, which uh, which research can be done. So if you check the Alliance Tech tree, and if you go to the development branch, then there are healing resources here, and uh, there are three different levels. Looks like they would give you two two and a half thousand, five thousand, and seven and a half thousand hospital spaces, respectively. So that's another useful addition that your uh, alliance can contribute. So you've also got the Lord Talents. So if you go to your Lord at the top left here, go to your Talents, and it's in the Balance branch. You can see there is Hospital Capacity 1, where you get 5,000 places. And if you keep going down, Hospital Capacity 2 has a further 20,000 places. So you can reset your points, or you can use uh, the Talent point switch which is available once you reach a high enough VIP level which is VIP level 12. So once you've done your prep work before battle actually comes then there's uh, nothing more to do except those last minute changes that can make a huge difference. So first up your hero council. Now this is an important question if you are fighting alone or if you are fighting in a mega rally. If you're fighting in a mega rally there is no need to boost your battle statistics, you will be using the battle stats of the person who's leading that rally. So there's the time that you can start to protect your troops. You can use Maligant, who has a, an increase of 24,800. On Solar Kingdom, Sir Baldwin has a 20,000 increase in hospital capacity. And Sir Grifflet can also offer 10,000 capacity. And if you are uh, in that mega rally you can also play with your armor which will increase the number of spaces you've got in those hospitals so if you go to the war sets the combat sets and if you scroll near the bottom you've got the warrior set and in the warrior set you've got phantom feet that will increase your hospital capacity by 30 percent that's a huge boost and you've also got the stone of providence this increases your hospital capacity by another 15 percent so with those combined, you should have maxed out your hospital capacity, and uh, hopefully you won't have any permanent losses if you're fighting in the Kingdom Raid. And if you're fighting in KVK, at least all of those troops who are wounded instead of being killed outright will go to the hospital and you won't continue to lose. So that is the awesome way that you can reduce the losses of your troops. It leaves you with more troops available to fight and uh, leaves you with less, uh, less need to rebuild. So it's a really awesome skill to use and it will maximize your uh, performance over the coming months. So I am English Tim. If you're enjoying my content, please do click that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to receive updates about my future videos. Otherwise, I look forward to you joining me on my next video. Q.
King of Avalon. Play now.